Desert's news leader. This is Breaking News. Hello, everybody. I'm Peter Dow. We are tracking breaking news out of Cabazon right now, where crews are on the scene of a growing wildfire. Jennifer Franco is live at the Breaking News Center. And Jen, what do we know so far? Yeah, Peter, while this fire is burning right now in the area of Apache Trail and Bonita Avenue in Cabazon, like you said, some live pictures coming to us from the scene. You can see some smoke there, some fire engines on site still. This is happening right across from the freeway from the Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. We know that about 15 to 20 acres has burned so far. Fire officials say that the blaze is spreading rapidly, but they do seem to be gaining control of it as we look out there live now. So, of course, continue to stay with News Channel 3, both on the air and online for updates on this breaking news. Peter, back to you for now. All right. Thanks, Jen. Now to our top four stories at four. We're also tracking another fire, this one here in the valley. This was the scene just west of Bob Hope Drive. The CHP says it broke out just before 2 this afternoon on Ramon Road. You can see the small fire in the middle of a field near the railroad tracks. Cal Fire quickly put out the flames. The city of Coachella is now responding after being accused of retaliation. As we reported, a building inspector is suing the city. The city releasing a statement moments ago denying the allegations and adding, it is confident that the litigation will reveal the city at all times acted appropriately and in accord with applicable labor laws. A federal lawsuit was filed last month on behalf of the building inspector Chris Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is accusing the city of retaliation based on his reports on several issues. You can find more details on the suit at KESQ.com. A Thousand Palms man is in jail today accused of burglarizing a Rancho Mirage home. Police arrested 47-year-old Michael Zebel last Wednesday. Investigators say he broke into the home while the residents inside were sleeping on April 30th at the Escala Gated community. They say he broke into a car and then used the clicker to get into the garage. He's charged with burglary, among other things, and is pleaded not guilty. He's due back in court next week and remains in jail where he's being held on half a million dollars bail. We all knew it was coming, but I mean, for a lot of us, we were just I mean, all we could do is just, you know, take cover and do what we were supposed to to take care of our families. The search continues in an Oklahoma town in the wake of a deadly tornado. Officials say at least one person in the town of Barnesdale is dead. 30 to 40 homes were damaged and about two dozen people were left without shelter. Down power lines, a gas leak and debris are making the roads dangerous. Only emergency and first responders have been able to get through. Monday night's tornado was the second the town has seen in just over a month. Here at home, First Alert Chief Meteorologist Haley Clausen is tracking our conditions. Back in the 90s, Haley. We are certainly back in the 90s. You could feel it out there today. Warmer than what we felt yesterday. Yesterday we had a high of 88, so we were close, but we were still below the seasonal average. And now you step outside this afternoon, and it doesn't matter where you are in the Coachella Valley, you're feeling those temperatures just a little bit warmer than where they were yesterday. 90s across the board. I say that, and then, of course, Thousand Palms and Mecca want to show off at 89 degrees right now. We've been in the 90s throughout this afternoon though and this is very typical for this time of year it really is feeling like may in the desert so plan to spend some extra time outdoors maybe you're walking around in downtown palm springs plenty of options for shade which is something you may want because we have just an abundance of blue sky overhead and coming up in my first alert forecast we are going to be taking a look at our weather pattern setup because as we head through the middle of the week we are going to be getting even drier than what we feel right now but tonight's focus will be on the wind we're already beginning to feel those winds strengthen out of the west and we'll take a look at our future track coming up in a few minutes okay thanks haley well, it was a day of bombshell testimony in former President Trump's New York criminal trial. Adult film star Stormy Daniels took the stand and described a sexual encounter with Trump and a deal to keep her quiet. Michael George has more on the key testimony. Former President Donald Trump's attorney asked for a mistrial, calling Tuesday's testimony from adult film star Stormy Daniels extraordinarily prejudicial. The judge denied the request, but did agree some things were better left unsaid. 
Daniels recalled meeting the former president in his hotel suite in Lake Tahoe in 2006. She testified they spoke for two hours, including a mention of Melania Trump. And Daniels said when she came out of the bathroom, the former president was on the bed wearing boxers and a T-shirt. She told the court they ultimately had sex, and she took a cab back to her hotel, telling very few people what had happened. A few things the prosecution has brought out is that he never asked her to keep quiet about this. He never asked her to keep it from his wife, and these are things that the defense will want to raise later. Trump denies the alleged encounter. The prosecution has to establish the former president had an incentive to cover up these payments to Stormy Daniel, to make the payments and cover it up. And in order to do that, the prosecution has to show that she would have been a compelling figure had she told this story right before the election. On the stand, Daniels detailed the financial arrangement, testifying she signed a contract in exchange for her silence. And the $130,000 payment was late. Earlier, Trump called the criminal trial unfair and said there's no smoking gun. That's what they're trying to get us on, the fact that we call a legal expense a legal expense. Trump also railed against the judge's gag order on his way into court, calling it unconstitutional, but made no mention of Daniels by name. And that was Michael George reporting. A state senator in California is hoping to cut down on theft in stores by addressing what she says is an issue at self-checkout locations. Senator Lola Smallwood Cuevas of LA proposed a bill officially known as SP 1446 that sets a minimum staffing level of one worker for every two self-checkout machines. A law she says will lower theft and save jobs. Employers would also have to notify employees at least 60 days before drafting the study and employ or collective bargaining representatives with the study at least 60 days before implementation. The bill has received support from organized labor unions and opposition from business groups, including the California Chamber of Commerce. In fact, self-checkout machines cause about 16 times more loss than cashier checkout stands, with an estimated 10 billion in annual losses attributed to the machines. The bill comes as cities across the state deal with brazen thefts at grocery stores and pharmacies. A semi-truck hauling cases of Coors overturned on I-80 in Northern California early Monday morning. It scattered cases of silver bullet cans all along the road. The driver and passenger had minor injuries. Authorities believe the driver may have gone off the right side of the road and then overcorrected, causing the semi to tip over. Sickly starved pelicans are coming into Southern California wildlife centers. Next on News Channel 3, the investigation into what's causing this and the steps being taken to care for those birds. And later, a U.S. soldier is the latest American to be taken into custody in Russia. You're watching the Desert's News Leader. In Morongo, we have the best guests and we always have the best prizes. I just made winners out of all these tables. Dave here is going to the all-you-can-eat marketplace on me. Yeah! Just gave Franny 500 bucks in promo chips. You're welcome. And hey, Mark and Brittany, I'm comping you a meal at Cielo. So what are you thinking? Steak and lobster. Excellent choice, because who doesn't love free steak and lobster? Someone in this room can win a brand new car. Morongo, now well, that's a good time. The Firebirds are heading back to the postseason. Tickets are on sale now for the 2024 Calder Cup playoffs at AcraSure Arena. Come cheer on the defending Western Conference champion Coachella Valley Firebirds as they look to capture the AHL's top prize, the Calder Cup. Tickets will go fast, so make sure you're locked in to see the hottest team on ice before it's too late. Visit CBFirebirds.com to get your playoff tickets now. It's time to fuel the fire. The Firebirds 2024 postseason is presented by Spotlight 29. Closed captioning is brought to you by General Air Conditioning and Plumbing, providing full service HVAC and plumbing repair and replacement. Elevate your outdoor space with vision, turf, and lighting. From vibrant artificial grass to custom designed landscape solutions, our expert team tailors each project to your needs. Our top quality pet friendly turf and state of the art lighting systems are not just beautiful, they're built to last. Thank you, Coachella Valley. Because of you, we are the desert's fastest growing artificial grass and landscape lighting company. Call now for a complimentary consultation. Let us turn your vision into a reality. Shop Mathis Home during the monumental savings event and get huge markdowns on America's number one furniture brand, Ashley. We've dropped the price on this contemporary sofa, now just $5.95. 
Save 350 bucks on this casual sofa with five pillows 